Yes, friends. In this case, we are going to study the weighted mean. First of all, we have already studied the arithmetic mean. That is sigma x divided by n number of observations. Now, in this case, we are going to study the new concept of weighted mean. But first of all, let us take the recap of calculation of arithmetic mean. We require to find out arithmetic mean as well as weighted mean of salary. That means salary is variable for us. So we have to calculate mean or weighted mean for salary. To calculate mean for salary, first we have to find out the sum total of salary. Let us get the sum total of salary or say sigma x. Yes, it is 4020, 4020, divided by number of cases, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1005. Yes, it comes to 1005 per month. This is our mean or x bar. Now the question is, what is the difference between mean and weighted mean or simple mean, arithmetic mean, whatever the name is and the weighted mean. In case of weighted mean, we have to consider the importance of the particular value. The salary of 1670 is paid to one person. But the salary of 1200 is paid to 16 persons. So total will be 1200 multiplied by 16. Similarly, the salary of 750 is paid to 3 persons. And salary of 400 is paid to 4 persons. In calculating the simple or arithmetic mean, we have ignored the number of persons or say total amount paid as salary every month by the institution or corporation. In case of calculation of weighted average, we should consider the relative importance of the value or each and every value of the variable. 1670 is paid but to only one person. So salary of manager or rather the category of manager remains 1670 per month. But Salary of 1200 or 12000 dollars is paid per person to 16 persons on the post of clerk. So total salary paid to all 16 clerks will be 1600 multiplied by 16. That means 19200 dollars. Similarly, 750 salary is paid to a single record clerk. And there are three record clerks. So total salary payment will be $2,250. And in the same way, total salary paid to four peons will be $1,600. When we calculate arithmetic mean or simple mean, we ignore this fact. We just take per head salary into consideration. While in calculating the weighted mean, we will consider the number of employees. So ultimately, we will consider the entire amount paid as salary per month. And on the basis of that, we will find the weighted mean. That weighted mean will be the average salary paid per person, whatever the post of the person is. So salary, say it is X, Weight, that is W, here what is weight? It is number of employees. That will be taken as weight. Now multiply these two. 1670, one person, total amount 1670. 1200 total number of persons so total amount will be 19200 750 is paid to three persons so total amount is 2250 400 amount paid to four persons so total is 1600 
Now get the summation of these two. We don't require to sum this column. 24, that is total number of employees in the office. The sign is sigma W. 24,720. 720. It is sigma XW. What is the weighted mean? Sigma XW divided by sigma W. 24,720 divided by 24. So the weighted mean is 1,030. The interpretation is average salary per person paid is $1,030 per month. The amount $1,500 per month is not the correct amount of average salary per head. Average salary per head is actually $1,030. So this is the difference between arithmetic mean and the weighted mean. The biggest difference is in case of calculation of arithmetic mean, all the values of the variable are considered with equal importance. The importance is one in all case. While cal for calculation of weighted mean, we consider the relative importance of each and every value and it is also taken into consideration for the purpose of calculation. Okay, thank you. Sir, I'm going to